Hi, my lovely people. Baby, we got a shout out. We know this lovely young lady over here. It is Lucinda Speaks TV. Baby has been a storm chaser for a very long time, but she got a channel with some great content. Baby, this girl has been going live and she has been doing her thing over there. Go over, check her out. Let her know that we are in the building and we came to do nothing but support. Run up them watch time hours. Run up those sub counts and run up them views. Because, baby, I shall be over there watching, whether it's in the bushes or right there in the front. I will see you guys over there. Toodle. Ooh, let this disclaimer run. Section 107 fair use allows us to talk about it. Bebe, don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It's for fun. It's for entertainment purposes, reaction purposes, whatever you want it to be. Just know it's all alleged. Allegedly what we see with our own two eyes. Guess what? Y'all, it's my content and my content only. So we about to get into it. Bebe, even the kids ain't safe. Ain't nobody safe. Oh, she back on the kids thing again, y'all. She's back on the kids thing. So let's talk about this. Oh, I wasn't going to say nothing about it because we done heard her say it before, right? If them kids, they ain't my kids. But she went from making a short about it to making a little video about it and thought she was explaining something, right? Because when she made the short, talking about, oh, I don't care about nobody kids unless they come out of me and, and yada, yada, smack, smack. But then she makes a short again. And I'm going to call it a short because these little two-minute videos, you might as well call them a short, right? She makes a little video and she's showing a comment when somebody say, but didn't you buy him a car? She goes on to say, yeah, I bought him a car, but his mama said it was raggedy. She resold it and bought him a new car. Well, honey, these cars that you buying at these chop shop side mechanics, these uh, ran down uh, $5,000 cars and this and that, they probably ain't running too great. If you decide that it is okay for your child to ride around in a car that hadn't been inspected, hadn't had nothing done, y'all bought it right off a lot, y'all didn't even go get it tested to see if it was safe, and now y'all driving all the kids around with no insurance, baby, not everybody thinks that that's okay, so the mama resold it and bought another one. Yeah, it didn't see anything wrong with that. Now, I could see if you got out here and said, well, the mama, she sold the car and kept the money. No, she went and bought her son something bigger and better. So it ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Then she continues to end the video with saying F them and this and that and them wood kids and yada, yada, smack, smack. Now, I'm going to just say this because y'all know I'm a keep it real type of girl, right? Getting on here saying F anybody kids, it is not right. But when I sit here and I listen to her talk, y'all really have to start to think of how evil some things are, right? Because if you make a video and you tell people, I don't care about nobody kids, that's what she said. I don't care about nobody kids unless they came for me. I don't care about no kids. But girl, you about had a daggone heart attack when somebody told you to comb your daughter's hair. Then you got on here and you flipped out and it was, oh, you dirty, broke, black, and all this other stuff and going on and going on. And, and girl, you couldn't handle it because they told you that your daughter's hair looked nappy. Which, baby... If you got two eyes, then you know what you're looking at then, right? But I always say if the mama hair look a hot mess, then we know that the kids hair may look a hot mess because that's just what kind of person she is. But it goes a little bit deeper than that, y'all. If you say F anybody kids and you don't care about nobody kids, then that gives me reason to believe that why did you get on here saying that you cared about your nephew, right? Just like you got on here. And you said that you cared about, uh-huh, everybody's kids. Oh, my, I call CPS on my brother kid because I care about him. No, you didn't. You just said you don't care about nobody's kids but yours. So you did it to be evil. Then you got on here and you also said your sister, right, Drea, Oh, I love my niece. Look how pretty my niece is. Y'all, I'm going to buy my niece and my nephew from my sister a car. No, you wasn't. You was using that as a tactic to make your sister feel bad because there's no way, like you said, that you care about anybody, kids that didn't come up out of you. And I'm going to tell y'all her actions show that. See how deep something goes? You see how deep something goes? Because she has now only said um, F wood kids, but she done said her brother kids. She done said her sister kids. And that's truly how she feels. You see how she was all up in her brother and sister face when she needed them. And then as soon as she felt as though she was feeling better, she was healing, you know, that little cootie cat was closing back up and baby, she was doing okay from that C-section. Then she got out here dragging their business and saying F them and their kids because what she's saying, I don't understand why her subscribers do not take it to heart, is what she means. See, I'm the type of person, I don't want to see 
Nobody kid going without or having something bad be done to him. I don't care if it's a neighbor kid and it's hot outside. I give him a popsicle, give him a bottle of water, give him a can of soda, whatever the case may be. I'm just that kind of person. I don't like to see kids down and out. But see, Peach, she likes to buy love, right? So she feels like if she buys cars, clothes, and shoes and takes them places that makes her a better parent than her brothers and her sisters who aren't able to do that. That shows her character. But what I need y'all to realize is any woman that get on here and say something like F all them kids. I don't care if they didn't come out of me. It has to be me and mine. She means that. So I don't understand how subscribers can get out here and be like, oh, Paige, you such a great mama. Oh, you just a great inspiration. That means if your kid was walking down the street and something happened to him or if your kid was hungry or if your kids was sleepy, then she wouldn't have cared. Just like she got on here and she said she was at Chick-fil-A and it was a man in there with his children and he couldn't afford to feed his children properly. And she walked away because guess what? He could figure out how to do it. This is a woman that is all about herself, all about her children and all about her husband. And if it don't involve them, then she don't care about it. Everybody is on the auction block. Like everybody business, everybody money, everybody time, everybody care, everybody heart because of Peach. Y'all, when I tell you, when I heard her say that, I said, yeah, okay, now I understand. You did everything to your family because you was evil. She wasn't planning on, and I'm going to say it again, she wasn't plan, planning on buying her sister kids no freaking car. It was, look at, I brought my son a car, but you think I might buy your one, you know, sometime. I think about it. It was a tactic to hold over her sister's head and to manipulate her children. Just like you were sitting up there talking about how pretty your niece was and how much you love her. But in the next breath, when you were mad at her mother for absolutely nothing, you said F her. Uh-huh. Just like you got on here and you said, and I'm going to say it again, you called CPS on Edward's child because you were so worried about him. But then in the same breath, it was F him, his mama, and dogged out his mama on TV. Oh, goodness, y'all. See, when she talks, y'all need to listen. Because, see, over here, we ain't whack-whack weenies. We ain't fool. But, baby, I feel like it's more to come. So I'm going to see y'all down in the comments because I done gave my little two cents.